stuff. Okay, here we have the, the Pronto, which is integrating with the, with the Sonos. Sonos is a great multi-room audio system uh, with a limitation that the control is only about the, um, the, the music. In this case, with, uh, with Pronto, you have the ability to control the Sonos system and next to that also control other AV activities or lighting or whatever. The, uh, the implementation is done that it's in such a way that uh, the, the functionality is similar as the, uh, as the original Sonos control panels. Uh, most functions, basic functions are available, like playing the music, um, pausing the music, and also the search functionality is, uh, is there. Um, the most important functionality is what we call the lean back functionality. So the specific programming you still will need the, uh, the Sonos PC solution, uh, but for operating it you can use the Pronto instead. Can you show me through some screens? Yeah. Like the home screen and... What I can show you also is the way that it started up. If you have various activities, you can decide to select the Sonos activity. What you will see is that it's very easy also to, uh, to, to use it. It will automatically, because it's UPnP based, it will automatically find the Sonos zone player. That may be multiple players. You do a selection. Now, why, no. why can't every UPnP enabled <laughs> controller control Sonos? Well, because most uh, controllers have a standard UPnP implementation uh, and we have uh, the various elements which are important for UPnP, uh, UDP, communication, discovery uh, technology, and uh, because we have Pronto Script, uh, which is a very flexible tool, in fact, we can build on top of the standard UPnP uh, uh, functionality. Um, and therefore, we have the ability to, uh, to get it to work even uh, if there are uh, functions that, uh, that are not standard UPnP. And on top of that, you can control your whole house while you're at it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So here you can go through. Now can you build, so you can build Sonos playlists into macros, whole house macros that also include lighting and... Yeah, well, the activity stands on its own, so right. you make your choice, then you go to the Sonos activity or you, you go to another activity, but of course you can create buttons uh, anywhere you like to jump out of the activity quickly, do some settings of your lighting, and then go quickly back. So that's just a question, uh, one button.